Howdy folks, this is your old pal Uncle Al. We're doing a little bit. That's David Lamb, Prepper Principal. He has 152 K subs. 100, that's 1,500 and 220 subs. Okay, he has 413 videos, 139 lives, 91 shorts. Okay, check out David Lamb Prepper Principal. Doing a new one. Okay. I got too much work. Dead tired. I've been on a live stream. I finally hooked up the router to my phone and then back and forth. It's a lot of hard work. That's Gray Man Prepping. We're talking about going to evacuation centers. There's myths, there's lies, there's a lot of crap going around. Volunteer before the disaster hits. Get vetted and get training. Okay, it takes a couple of months. A lot of people get the wrong training. A lot of people are too old. A lot of people don't know what the hell they're doing. All right. A lot of people, it depends on the state, the county, and the area. And most evacuation shelters are run privately. All right. Or with the city or with a church organization or with the first aid. Okay, I got a lot of headaches and a lot of experience. I don't want to listen to people. They have no idea what the hell they're doing. Okay, you're going to a death camp. You need mental help. Get tired. Okay, check out uh, Sassy Gal Prepping. We all know all these people right here. This is Sassy Gal prepping $5 Friday. Or praying for her. Okay. Again, I keep telling people. Grow a garden. Save America. I'm thinking I'm doing a lawsuit against the Telegraph. Gardens do not cause carbon footprints. They remove carbon. Go ask Howdy at Food Forest Permaculture. Okay, for Dad on YouTube, fourth year of SHTF, third year of World War III, first year of the Civil War. All right, don't want to hear it, I'm tired. Check out White Family Farms and Grow Big TV. Wayne, the ungrateful peasant, are becoming dangerous. Remember, nothing is normal anymore. Trust no one, you must comply, like hell I will. Okay? I know the difference. A lot of people comply. I'm like, why are you doing that? And then sometimes they should not comply. I'm like, why are you doing that? All right, this drives me nuts. Again, check out David Lamb, Prepper Principal. Okay. This is Sassy Gals, $5 Friday. I'm doing it earlier because I'm busy. I have doctor's appointments tomorrow. I have people to meet. I have the people I have to scream. This evening when I got home, I rushed over to Green Man Prepping to do the live. That's why I was in a t-shirt because I was in a, in, I don't know what you a suit and tie screaming for two and a half hours with a bunch of church idiots. Okay, we have an Aldi's now, which is great for if you want to get certain things, kind of, all right? I always check out all these. All right. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. You have to walk through the store. All right. So we always check their flyers. Okay. My go-to is usually Smart and Final. Okay. Okay. I'll check out the stuff, what stuff I need. Right now, we're going after canned and dried items. They're pushing a lot of stuff, if you watch. They're either pushing fresh or stuff that's not going to be stable for the next six months. So you always check it out. Now, there's a few things that I'll buy in bulk because this is Smart and Final. And I do have my uh, wholesaler's card, so I get a good price on it. Okay? 
So you want to look for stuff that you could buy. You know, let's see. All right, they have certain things that I'll pick up. A lot of people ask me why I got these kinds of trays because sometimes we have to serve hot food. All right, a lot of people aren't prepared. They don't have Uncle Alan kicking them in the behind. And our final stop is my Hispanic store. I always love this store. I have all this I could pick through. I think there's some in Kings County too. They're, they're a great store. I'm getting old and tired. All right, we have all this. Again, we're looking for driving canned goods. If anything catches our eye, okay. Dried in canned goods, anything I could put away. It's a good sale. I could buy it in bulk. I'll talk to them. All right. A lot of you are not set up for budget shopping or understanding how to shop. That's why I always do these five dollar Fridays. You always check the sale ads, you always check out the store, you check out everything. A lot of people. They're not set up like Uncle Al. Uncle Al's been set up for like this for the last 40 years. All right. Another thing, I got the little spice kit all done. Take a look at that. Very easy. Just short on it. So anyway, grow a garden, save America. Don't believe the lie from Dabros, a.k.a. W-E-F. <clears throat> take back everything learn how to can and preserve uh, I was going to do something on uh, the electoral thing in California but I don't have time I'll try to do it either on Wednesday or Thursday I am busy it's first of the month it's Lunar New Year Chinese Year of the Dragon the, that starts on the 4th I have everybody and their cousin asking me questions Uncle Alan, you're pretty smart. What's going on? Well, one, you're a dumbass, and you went to Stanford. All right. A lot of these guys who are running for, I forget which, I think it was Kevin, Kevin McCarthy's seat. Oh, we're Stanford grads, and we're Democrats. I wouldn't vote for them if I was the next lotto millionaire. If you want somebody to do right, you hire Uncle Al. Write down Alan Sato. Cross out everybody, especially Adam Schmidt. That's a carpetbagger. He doesn't even live in our state. He bought a house and he moved into Bakersfield. Just say no. All right, folks, I'll catch you later. Grow a garden, learn how to process, get a defensive weapon, read the Constitution, please. And I'll see you later. You have a nice night. I got to go to bed. I got doctor's appointments tomorrow. <sighs> I have two back to back. At least they're in the same building. And I'll catch you later. You have a nice day. God bless. And remember, it's 2024. Reality check time. Bye now.